Welcome back guys, thank you for flying Motivation 12, your pilot of the virtual skies. Today we are flying a Cessna 206 on floats. I've already got the, uh, the rudders down. And we are in Honolulu on their water runway. I honestly do not know if it exists or not, but... Well, I'd had the option for water, so I figured why not. So, I don't know if I set the flaps or not. Nope. Alright, so we'll put the flaps down just a little bit. Flaps sound kind of creepy. And, uh, let's, uh, let me get myself situated in the cockpit here. No, wrong way. Here we go up. There we go. Okay, now I can see over the nose. Nope, down just a little bit. Down. There you go. Go back just out here. There we go. Okay. We'll go ahead and bring some throttle in. This is a turbine 206 on floats. There's a boat in my way. I've tried making a 206 video. This is my fourth 206 video. Look out, dude. This is my fourth 206 video. And uh, they've all failed because of uh, my voice not getting picked up. So since that issue's fixed, uh, bring the water rudders back up. Since that issue is fixed, I am able to make videos now. So the flaps are coming up. We're passing over runway 26 left. That'd be cool if like, Honolulu actually does have a water runway off their international airport. It'd be kind of cool to fly out of. We're just going to fly around the island, have a little bit of fun. i got to go back to work at 4 a.m., so uh, decided just make a really quickie video. All the seats in the back there. And then we'll just do a little loop around the island and come back and land. The land hard surface. Just got like landing hard surfaces. We're gonna stay low and try to stay slow get some uh, island sightseeing. I gotta get some uh, some textures for Hawaii. I'm gonna lower myself just a hair so I can see out the windows better. I like being able to see the wing. There we go. I don't really need to see over the uh, over the panel. Look out the side window. Bring some trim down here. Yeah so as you saw I finally did a live video gonna plan on doing a lot more. Obviously my subscribers are low right now so not many people are able to tune in or tune in so uh, hopefully uh, once I start doing some uh, multiplayer stuff I can actually have something that's a little more entertaining for you guys. I don't know how entertaining this is. If it's entertaining leave a comment. If it's not Leave a comment. If I can get the nose to trim. I don't think that's set correctly. Coming. downtown we're gonna pass over the mountain range well over the volcanoes and stuff Let's go 
good thing there's no one that can arrest you or give you a number to call on uh, flight sim. Have the things I do in here, I would be in so much trouble. I think that's uh, basically anybody on FSX. I don't even think this is legal. Oh, it might be legal, I don't really see anything wrong with this, just dangerous. Alright, we're gonna bring in the power so we can make it over top of this. And if I were in a real life situation like this, for some odd reason, hopefully I'd be smart enough not to get myself into the situation, but sometimes things happen. You wanna find the lowest hill that you can definitely make it over. Watch your airspeed, that is the most important part. Actually, you fly the airplane, communicate later if you have to. But getting yourself out alive is the most important part. So we're gonna get ourselves a lot get ourselves out alive by Ooh, I wonder if I can land on that. About a dollar for every time I have asked myself that question on flight sim. And in real life. Oh, here's a little uh, little pond. Let's uh, drop our water rudder. There we go. Bring in uh, first set of flaps here. We are gonna just kind of loop around here. So we're gonna come around here, and then we're gonna come in where that road is right there, and make that our final approach. So let's go outside this mountain here. We might do a landing over on that runway over there, and then we'll come back around the island. And, uh, land at Honolulu. So let's come back around this way. There's a golf course right there. Another set of flaps. And we'll go ahead and put in our third set of flaps. Watching our airspeed. We're gonna add some throttle and do a steep turn right here. We saw it looks like we might have enough altitude to recover over that, otherwise we're just landing face down into the, uh... Alright, throttle out, to the golf course there. That is nice looking. Alright, let's see if we can land it. We're going a bit fast. See if I can land it with my right hand here. Alright, air speed's coming down pretty nicely. They try to land on the longest part here. Probably invading someone's space. It's probably a private lake up here. Alright. Oh, that was rough. And we are airborne again. Wow. That was... that was rough. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to bring our flaps back to 10 degrees. And then we're gonna flip around. I hope we got enough lake to take off. I didn't think about that. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, we might crash. But we gotta get the plane out somehow, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip around right here. This thing is really sensitive. We're gonna spin it around right here. Hope I don't run myself on a sandbank here. I gotta... Whoa. Gotta locate the uh, longest point of the lake, which is gonna be right there. I am like right along the shore. Alright, 10 degrees of flaps, turn toward our exit point, and let's, uh, let's roll. Well, float. Fly. Same thing. Gonna do a short field, so, uh, 
lift off as soon as possible, maintain ground effect until we get our airspeed up. Airspeed is perfect. Let's climb out. Go ahead and bring our flaps up and retract our water rudders. We are at a pretty high altitude in the mountains, so air is going to be a little thinner up here. I don't think it's too high to affect us. But we just want to think about the stall factor and also the sharp rocks that are around us. Alright, we're going to make a straight in for this one. It says we're high, but we're also very far away, so I'm going to ignore that for right now. down trim. I right, put in 10 degree the flaps. Gear down. Yeah, we'll make a base because it looks like we're trying to land on a taxiway or a a closed runway. We'd rather not do that. Let's, uh, set ourselves up in the cockpit here. You can see over our nose. It's probably the reason for my hard landing. Since we're on base, we're doing a right base. We'll do a uh, we'll do a 20 degrees flaps. Yeah, we're going to try to land on a taxiway. Looks like a closed runway, but it's probably just for taxi now. Once we turn final, we will uh, put in... What is that? Oxygen. Okay. Looks like a freaking... Alright. Uh, 30 degrees flaps. Look at the throttle on a freaking twin otter. That's only got one. Alright, we're coming in fast. Gear is down. Flaps are in the full position. And we're coming in hot, so I'm not really worried about looking at airspeed. Just lining it up. I just like the way the airplane looks on the outside. Keep the uh, throttle out. We're just going to glide on in. We've got plenty of airspeed. Nope, maybe not. A little bit of throttle. There we go. I probably could have made it, but don't want to risk it. Okay, so let's just hold back pressure. There we go. That was kind of bumpy. All right, bring our flaps completely up to zero degrees, full throttle. I'm gonna drop down in my seat again so I can see the wing view. There we go, a little bit low. Probably going super fast now. Yeah, we're definitely ready to rotate. So to accelerate a takeoff, gear up. Oh yeah. Let's go and bring the nose down before we stall. That was awesome. We were not approved for that, but I wouldn't contact the ATC anyways. Let's go ahead and bank on out of here. It's a helipad. So we were going to land on that. I was still... Yeah, we could have done it. Probably couldn't have done the go-around. We've got to go in the water, but... We got floats, we can do it.
close-up trim here. There we go, perfect. flying airplanes in real life. Now we're going to pop over that mountain to our 12 o'clock. We're going to go in between these two and then up and over that one. Let's uh, pull the throttle back a lot because we are freaking past our B and E. There we go. Wish you could set it to where on flight sim like you would actually lose a wing on B and E. That would be fun. Try to fly with one wing. Actually, I've got a twist. Let's pause this really quick. Let's uh, see options. Aircraft, here we go. Failures. Let's uh, uh, instrument systems. Don't have an APU. Um, let's see. What should we do? Um, trying to find a main gear failure. Not oh, random failure. Do three minutes. There we go. Okay, so we have a random failure in uh, th within three minutes. So. Let's uh, test my skills here in piloting. If you have FSX, it's actually a really good, uh, a really good training practice to set that up for a random failure within, let's say, 20 minutes or so. I did three minutes because I don't want the video to drag on forever, waiting on this failure to have it happen.
unless it's uh, not even set. Oh, it wasn't even set. Okay, well, shoot. Voltage cage. Okay, so, well, I don't even know if that was set. Keep saying my heading. Has anything failed? Uh, don't see. Doesn't look like it yet. Let's try to say inland. That way it kinda makes it a little bit more complicated. Set up an engine failure or something. Let's see. Engine failure, engine failure, come on, engine failure, engine failure. Where the heck is it? Come on, engine failure, engine failure, engine failure. Oh, you know what? Uh, engine's over here. Um, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? Oil system, oil leak, ignition, fuel pump, fire. Let's do fire. Fails in no one to no one to two minutes. There we go. Okay, there we go. Engine fire in one to two minutes. Seems realistic on a 208. checklist in here. I know it's one of my kneeboard, but let me see if I can find it.
There it is. Uh, checklist. Got no power to the engine now. Oh, we do get, yeah, we got a fire. Okay, engine fire. Alright, so throttle out. We're gonna go ahead and pull the mixture, shoot, uh, pull the prop control. Uh, I need to cut the fuel flow. Uh, you know what? Yeah, ah, oh, crap. Nope, stop. Alright. I'm gonna try to make it to the, uh, I don't know how to start a turbine aircraft. I don't know how to shut one down either. I need to cut the fuel flow somehow. I'm gonna try to make it, so let's go ahead and drop the water rudder. I'm gonna try to make it into the uh, naval base here. Props are feathered. Power is all the way out. Whoa, what was that? All right, this water over here is a lot closer to me, so I'm gonna go to it. We still got a lot of speeds. So we are good for our altitude. Uh, let's drop our flaps. I really hope that doesn't kill us on drag. our flaps because we need to lose some speed. Pretty rough looking. Okay, so let's see if we can get her down.
stay near the shoreline once we touch down, so we're able to swim to shore. Probably not a good idea to fly over uh, residents while the airplane's on fire. Shadow. There we go. Okay, we're down. There we go. I don't know how to shut down a, uh, a turbine airplane. There it goes. Okay. So our engine is off. It's a lot of smoke. Airplane's on fire. Open up the doors, get everybody out. Well. That looks like it's the end of it. Uh, ended it with an engine fire, which is pretty cool. I'm at to uh, set up some more failures at the beginning of the video and uh, to see how they go. So thank you for flying with me. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Got to see a little bit of uh, virtual Hawaii. And uh, I will see you next time. Remember to geek out, aviators. Bye-bye.